good people this is Karen with Ali Yoga Wellness and I'm so glad that you've joined us for another episode of St. Stephen's live Lord's Temple Fitness <laughs> and today we have our very own church member Faustine Webster here with us and uh, we're gonna have a little conversation with her on how she's feeling and uh, yoga uh, any yoga connections that she having whether she likes yoga or not I didn't ask her <laughs> <laughs> yes I like yoga okay. it's pretty good you know. <laughs> yeah now uh, I uh, told you before that I work in a factory and I know that um, my hands can give me lots of problems you can have a carpal tunnel from uh, factory work from the repetitive work and then Faustine she is quite a woman I mean I just love that she's not afraid to swing a hammer <laughs> thank you Karen <laughs> thank you <laughs> so I know she can hang drywall right yes just as much as you want <laughs> I can do drywall I can do, do flooring you name it I can do it yay I love it I love it so uh, that does college to have a, some kind of grip, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had any pain with your hands? Or? I had corporal tunnel surgery in my hand, mm -hmm. and also uh, a lot of times at night times I can be sleeping and stuff, and I still get them sharp pains going through my hands and stuff. So yes, mm -hmm. I still do have pains in my hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I tell you what, a lot of people do. Now we have the keyboardists; they mm -hmm. have a lot of problems, and then. Uh, in in the office, carpal tunnel just runs through like a like what was I gonna say like a disease and you know <laughs> it is but uh, it comes from uh, data entry that keeping your fingers like this will like your mother used to say your face will stay like that well your fingers they stay like that you know even if it's on the inside and then you know arthritis comes up but anyway. So uh, we um, know we're going to do some finger work, and then we want to do some back work too, because we can have back problems. And what do you tell me? What do you want to tell? It is okay. I just blew my mind. Oh, wow. If you want to talk about back problems, <laughs> I have back problems. I have what's called the set disease and it's in the lower lumbar. My problem comes I was in four car accidents within a nine month span. That left me basically not being able to walk. Yogurt years ago got me back walking, back moving. It's a slow movement and then the meditation and stuff that you also go through. Right. Yoga, right. That relaxes the mind, the body, the soul and everything else. So that actually helped me to where I was able to start getting back up walking right. and moving around and stuff, yeah. So. It, it's some amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. It it was my mental and emotional situation mm -hmm. that brought me to yoga, but those situations um, created allergies and skin and mm -hmm. And I'm like, and no sleeping, and I know, yeah. and then working in the factory is like my fingers would be numb, but I'm sleeping on this side, and your body can, yeah, yeah, can really be, but I just think you're amazing, okay? Well, thank you. I did not know. I know you had been in a wreck. <laughs> no, I was in four wrecks. <laughs> so I had a physical therapist that my uh, did yoga, mm -hmm. so I was not able to do regular yoga so mm -hmm. what she did she took me one-on-one -on -one as a client mm -hmm. and she modified the movement exactly for me to stay to do them and everything and right stuff. so that's what got me right. going well that's so. fabulous yes. yes okay well we're going to go ahead and and do our yoga that i have designed especially for faustine so that we can just work the areas because yoga is a therapy on its own that has come into Western medica medication, Western medicine's approval. All right, it has been working its benefits for thousands of years, but Western medicine 
has to research and follow and verify. So now that has happened. And uh, so we're glad to have you with us. And the first thing that we are going to do is work on the fingers, okay? All right. The hands. But what you'll find is that you'll feel it up in the forearm. So um, it's just so easy. Let's see how fast our muscles say, wait a minute. But first, I'm going to say wait a minute because we're going to open the session with our hand on our heart and then the other on our belly for our moment of courage. And we are looking right into the camera there, but closing our eyes. Close your eyes as well as we first breathe in together. And then breathe out. Pull your navel in. And then breathe in and out. Feel the relaxation around your neck. Your elbows might be getting closer to your body. And then last time together, breathe in and breathe out. Good, and just stay there. You can keep your hands where they are. You can put them on your legs and just breathe at your own pace. You feel naturally inside the relaxation that is your, you're pulling to you. You're releasing. Okay, so we're coming out of that. And we feel the calm that the breath can put us into that calm space that just by regulating your breathing. And we know that the breath was the last thing that God uh, put into our body so that it would move. And uh, now we're going to move a little faster here. We're going to, with our fingers, it's as if we're flicking off water, okay? Like we just washed our hands and we have no towel paper. So flick it. Flick it, flick it, okay? And you're doing it with the, with us, right? So go ahead and do that. Can you feel it in your forearms yet? Uh -huh. So once it, you, it starts showing up in that muscle in your forearm, just do it a few more times. Just Yeah, you'll see that you'll get slower, and that's because that muscle is, is waking up, really. <laughs> and it's saying, what? <laughs> and then it's saying, thank you, okay, really. We have to learn that our body is saying something different. Go ahead and spread your fingers nice and wide and so that you feel it in the palms of your hands. And then we're coming. You feel it? Good. And then come together in prayer position with all your fingers touching, your thumb. So we want to feel it in our shoulder blades now as we, we know prayer changes things, right? Well, let's do yeah, yes. this. Ah, yes. yes, it does. Lord. <laughs> And we want to feel better. That's we're always asking to feel better. So our elbows start close into us at first, but we want our wrist and our elbows to be level. So pull your wrist down, lower your hands, so that you feel it in your shoulders up here, Faustine. Nope. Okay. Push into the heels of your hand. Okay. Okay, and bring your hands down a little bit more. You feel it up around. Yes. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yes. yeah. So we are aligning our body the way that God intended, and in this particular instance, it will make our shoulders a little bit stronger. And there we are through our prayer position, and uh, this also pulls out some tension in our neck. But keep pushing the heels of your hands in, and then spread your fingers like they're a fan. You're not; they're not touching anymore. And then release the heel of your hands, but keep pressing into your fingertips. And then press the first knuckle is where the hand starts. But don't press the palm and see if you can press the... So can you see that's open? Let me see where's the camera. Can you see that's open? So just pr press the fingertips. Try to press bones together, but not the... There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so this is helping your uh, carpal tunnel, and then turn your fingers down and push into the heels of your hand. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> straight. Go ahead and straighten your fingers out now, Faustine. Oh. Yeah, and try to point down, and you feel your shoulders are responding. Uh -huh. Really, your shoulders are responsible for this rotation. Uh, it's the largest joint in this chain of movement. So now we're turning back up so that we can interlace the fingers and pull the heels of the hands away. And you feel it squeezing your fingers around. Do you have on a lot of rings? I have on, you don't nope. have on your no. rings. I got on my rings and they're like cutting me. They're not cutting for real. I wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> I'd stop before that happened. But you are uh, squeezing that blood flow. Um, what we used to say, you make you cut up my circulation. <laughs> so we, yeah, yeah. So we really are, and it's on purpose because then, as you release that hold, uh, that blood is flowing quicker through your fingers where we're working, and uh, it's carrying away stiffness and scar tissue and all kind of little microbial sized things that we don't even think about. So from this, it's like, where did I say we were going to go? Okay, put the back of your hands together. So just turn your fingers down toward each other. And now your elbows, move them down. Even if your fingers, you know, they won't be together. But try to point your elbows, the points to the floor. Yeah. Can you feel that in your wrist? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good. Good. Now go ahead, turn your fingers towards you. That's the rotation they're on, and make a fist with your thumb in. Okay? And now turn your thumbs down like that. Feel it even more in your forearm. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. And then we just come back up like that. And now we're going to make our way to our chair so that we can get long and wide. Okay, yes. ready? Yes, okay, ready. okay. Here we go. So make sure you're in a chair to follow along with us and that your chair is armless. I'm going to scoot over a little bit right now. And if you have a, what is this? What is this, boss team? A roll, a foam roller. Is that two to me? Yeah, <laughs> a foam roller. You see this in uh, physical therapy offices, and it just happened to be out of place right now, so it fell. <laughs> so I'm just roll that out of, out of, out of camera. So anyway, we are sitting to the edge of our chair. You're barefoot if you like, if it's okay. Okay, <laughs> got some quick offs. So you're sitting near the edge of your chair. Keep your socks on if you like. And we're putting our hand on the side of our chair, fingers holding down, pointing down. And now we're pulling our shoulder blades toward each other. We're moving down our spine to uh, strengthen and open and flex, make it more flexible. So move your chest together by pulling your shoulder blades together. And then gently raise your chin. And you squeeze your shoulder blades as easily as possible. Noticing that your chest is opening. And then come back forward with your shoulders and pull your navel in. Chin down to your chest. You're rounding forward. Go the other direction again, pulling your shoulder blades and your shoulders toward each other. Across the spine, you're just wrapping those shoulder blades, those muscles around the spine at the top. Raise your chin up. And inhale yourself back to the center. And now we're taking our arms up, just one. And squeeze this side we're leaning into so squeeze that side don't be concerned about how long this gets or how far you reach over squeeze focus on the squeeze right now and then as you inhale you're joining your breath and your body's movement to be as one bring that hand down and you're reaching out with the other hand and up 
and over and you're squeezing. Remember, move into the squeeze. Increase the squeeze. It's contracting those uh, lateral muscles there. Good. Now we'll focus on the lengthening. You inhale up and bring that arm down to that starting position reach out and up with the other and now look for the length on the top side body and you can look up into your fingers the contracting that we did to begin with that assisted the lengthening that we're doing now so you're looking up follow your fingers it's the hand eye coordination the same way they uh check on the babies okay we still need the hand eye coordination so go ahead and find your other fingers reach out and up oh my goodness <laughs> it's like liturgical dancing that it is it feels good <laughs> remember we're after the length here so your fingers are trying to reach the wall they won't, but they're trying. Good. Look up to your fingers. And follow your fingers with your eyes. And you bring the hand back over. And then just look to the center. So as Ali Yoga, some movements I've renamed to a uh, thinking of Muhammad Ali and the butterfly. We're just taking our arms up as we're inhaling. And then exhale as you bring them down. You're breathing out of your nose. Sometimes I go breathe out of my mouth. When you want to breathe, when you're breathing out of your mouth, that'll help cool your body down. Right now, we want some heat going on because we want these muscles heating up and warming up. Good. So let's bring go to a shoulder height, and now we're going to give ourselves a hug. Fingers on the shoulder caps. Pull your belly in and just breathe with this song. The lyrics are really talking to me. God cares all about you. So understand that you are hugging yourself and just as God hugs you, okay? And you soothe yourself. That is part of that meditation and breathing technique that Faustine was talking about. It goes along with the physical movement. So right here, let's inhale, press your bottom into the chair, lengthen up through your spine. And then as you exhale, pull your navel in, then pull your elbows into your belly area, chin down. And then go ahead and inhale up to sitting. Good. And just come out of that and you're welcome to roll your shoulders. Good. Doing okay, Faustine? Yes. All right. Good. All right. Good. Good. So stay up here in the shoulder area because we really do, um, um, we can have a lot of problem and tightness up there. That used to be where my, you've heard the phrase, the weight of the world sitting on your shoulders, right? Okay. You feel a lot of tension up there in your shoulders and necks. So let's make a fist, thumb in again like we did before. Our arms are at shoulder height, and our fists are moving toward our shoulders, okay? And then we're bending our elbows. They're moving toward our it's just strong man stuff, right? So if you straighten your elbows, straighten your forearms up, uh, Faustine. Straighten your stand up like this. Get rid of that. A little bit more. Yeah, that. And this right one a little bit more. Good. Yeah, it won't be wide. If that's okay with your body, right? That's oh, okay yeah. with your body. Okay, and pull your shoulder blades together. And then bring your elbows together in the front and 
interlace your fingers. And just bring them down. And sit. <sighs> Let's stand up for a few minutes, okay? I'm going to move my chair. You stay where you are. Because I'm going to be on this side now. And if you'll stand on this side of your chair, what we're going to do, all our, our toes are pointed forward, and now we're lifting our knee so that it, the thigh is level. Pull your belly in, and you're standing strongly through that bottom foot. Either, yeah, just do the other the next time. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> So push down in that standing heel and you'll feel that leg and those glutes, everything turn on and slowly move that foot out. And it's great if you can see yourself and you keep that thigh level instead of moving it down here. You want the knee to be hip height, squeeze the other glute. And it's as if you're stepping on a box and bring it back around. So this moves into the low back. Can you feel it? Plus 10. Yeah, I feel it. Okay. And bring it out. You're opening and closing. You're working on the... <laughs> I lost my balance. Don't lose your balance. So, so don't pull on the chair like I was doing. So um, here we are. <laughs> Theatrics are over. <laughs> okay. And so you're here. And bring it back in the front and stand down. And if you should be able to be far enough away from your chair to uh, do the other side. Open that out. And again, if you have a mirror, you, your mirror is your friend. So you can see uh, Faustine, let me see, instead of your foot being closer to the other leg, you want that ankle directly under that knee. Yeah, and again, it's like if it's okay with your body. That's what my okay. body says. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Get the position right. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So you can even be down here on the floor and make that half circle. Have you ever been in ballet class? Okay. And then come bring your toenail back here. Okay. And it's still helping that hip. That's the work we were doing. The leg is the weight. But the hip is the big joint that we're working on. So go ahead and put your knee up as best you can, as high as you can. And we're going to see about doing a upward dog. Go ahead and face your chair. And are you good with planks? Yes. Uh, okay. You keep your fitness up, don't you? Try to. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so drop lower down your bottom. And... Follow your chin as you reach in out to the wall and then up the ceiling and let your back, let your backbone slip. <laughs> Look up. Okay, good. And then bring your heels on the floor, even if you have to step forward a little bit. And now this will lengthen your low back as you push away from the chair. Just with your muscles, you're not pushing the chair away. You just feel your low back lengthen. You feel that, false team? Yes, it's just for my perception. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Good. So this could really bring you a lot of momentum or movement, range of motion into what uh, into your daily life. So we're walking to our chair. We're going to have a seat. I'm going to come back over here. And what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, close the session down. We've done a mostly upper back and shoulder and neck to help you uh, relax. And then we uh, pretty much skipped the middle back and went down to the low back. And all of those are really good for you to do and practice and You'll feel a world of difference. Could you tell yes. everything was affecting you, even just right here, right now? You might sleep better. I always tell people that sleep better. But uh, let's follow our breath all the way from our toes up into the atmosphere. First, we didn't do our, it's famous, uh, Ali 
shuffle. So tap your feet, bash your feet if you have to hold on. That's okay. Hold on. What we're doing is bringing that blood flow up to your awareness. And it's good for your body, especially, you know, diabetics. They really need that. You can come to a stop. Really need that blood flow feeling. And um, do you feel it? You feel your, mm -hmm. Okay, so when we breathe, go ahead and lift your toes up. Feel your breath or feel your muscles lengthen. You might feel your breath through your nose. It's traveling and you feel it up here at your forehead. And understand that it is escaping your body up here at the crown of your head, reaching for the Lord. And then as you exhale, the Lord has given you the response. And it's, the response is entering your body through the exhale. And that's how you feel the relief. So once again, listen to the music as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale as you need. And exhale. Bring your hand to your heart and your belly. Your belly is your area of courage. We want to have the courage to do what it is that we say we will do for the good. Breathe in. Exhale. And third time, I didn't count that off. I really went all the way in. And exhale. And together, we put our hands in prayer position. Oh, we know the Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you and your place in the universe. Namaste and amen. Yes, yes. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you, Faustine. Thank you. You did a great job.